Hi guys, I'm John and welcome to my channel. In today's spray paint art video, I'm just going to do the one colour challenge. So the colour I'll be using is Shock White Pure and that's from the Montana Gold range. I'll be using the skinny cap on the can. I'll also be using a couple of stencils to stop any overspray on the painting. I'm also going to be using a canvas, an A3 canvas. This was a black canvas that I bought. I'm going to be using some packaging from the canvas to do some texture on the painting. I'm going to be using a cloud stencil. I'm going to be using some weight. I'm going to be using this cone shaped food tub to make some small stars. I'm going to be using some bits of cardboard. Some small pieces of cardboard for this painting. I'm also going to be using a sponge. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is a moon. So I'll get the first stencil. It's just a circle cut out. I'm just going to use some weights to stop any of the overspray going underneath. Like I said, I'll just be using the one colour for this video and that is white. So I'll spray some white this side. Don't want to fill all the circle up. We'll get a canvas package in. And we'll just place it on it to make some texture. So this is the first time doing a one colour challenge. So I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. But we'll see at the end, see what it's like. There's not much texture there, so we'll just press it down, push it down. Pull some of this paint off so it gives you some texture. So like that, you can always put a bit more on, make a bit more texture. I'll just put a bit of a highlight up the top. Now we'll remove the first stencil. There's a bit of leaking under the stencil, but that's all right. You can work with that. So now we'll move in and block the bottom off so we don't get any overspray on that. So I'll put that there. So this is going to be some mountains later on in the painting. So I'll just put some weights on there so we get no white underneath. So I'm just going to add a few stars here on the top. Not many, so when you're doing the stars, you want to spray some on your finger like that and just flick it away from the painting so you get most of the paint off so you don't get big white blobs on your painting. So I'm just going to flick these on, avoiding the moon if I can. Don't want many on there.
So I'm liking the look of that now. So I'm going to add a few clouds around here, this area, around the moon and that. So I'll add some clouds to it. This is just a cloud stencil that I've made myself. If you want to know how I've ever made, there's a tutorial on my channel. So check that out if you want to know how to make them. So then we're just going to place a cloud stencil on the painting. And we're just going to spray lightly. Just spray in random places on the stencil so you get different clouds, shapes. Put a few in front of the moon, I think. You can always step back, have a look how it's looking. If you like the way it's looking, leave them. You can always add more if you want to. So I quite like how that's looking. Just add this last one there. Quite like how that's looking. So I'm going to leave the clouds like that. So now we've got the clouds in place. I'm just going to use this food tub with the hole in the bottom. Just to add some bigger stars. Just at the top. I'll just put a few in. So we just spray the paint through it. Give you a bigger dot. So I like how that's looking. So I'll remove these now. The weights. And then this should give you an outline of where your mountains are going to go. So then we've already got the shape of the mountains now. So for this we're going to get a spare piece of card. And then just spray some white on it. I'm really liking how this painting's looking at the moment. So like I said, we'll move on to filling these mountains in now. So with the white and the piece of small card. So we've just got a small piece of card like this. And all I'm going to do is rip the top off a bit. So it's not a straight edge. And then all we're going to do is put some white on the highlighted side of these mountains. So we're just going to dip it into a bit of a white. Just make sure you haven't got much on it. If you have, just dab it down a bit. So you haven't got too much paint on these pieces of card. And then all we're going to do is do some mountain shapes. So just take your time when you're doing this. Take a bit of practice to get used to it now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this mountain in the foreground, the biggest one. So like I said in my previous videos, tutorials and that, just take your time. There's no rush when you're doing things. Just enjoy what you're painting. So bring that down like that. I think I'll put a bit more up here. So 
And we'll move over to the next one. So a good tip that I can give you is when you're doing your mountains, just step away and have a look at it or lean it up against somewhere and then you can have a look at it to see how your mountains are looking. Because when I first started and I was doing mountains, I'd just look at them from how you're painting and from a painting perspective and sometimes it didn't look right. But if you moved them and lent them up against something and then looked straight on at it, you could tell them... Um, They'd look as though the mountains were forming, so we're looking like a mountain should. So we're bringing the, each of these mountains in front of the, la the one behind. And if your piece of car, car gets a bit too much paint on, starts clogging up and that, you can just replace it with another one. So what I'll do is get another one. You can get all different, just make different size ones. Like that, so it's easier to work when you're doing smaller details up at the top and that. It's easier to use a smaller piece of card. Back to the top of these mountains. Let's go over them again, put a bit more white in on the edges. Well, by just taking your time and you're doing things, no need to rush and do a painting in 10 minutes or whatever. Just enjoy while you're painting. That way you'll get better results. So let's just step away and have a look at that. So I'm quite liking it how these mountains are looking at the moment. I think they look nice. I think I'll just put a bit more there. Uh, a bit more up the top. Just pull this out a bit. Right, so I'm liking the way they're looking. I reckon they look really well. So I'll just sit that out of the way. So now we have the mountains in place. I'm going to put some mist on the bottom. So for this, you want to just press your cap down lightly to produce like some mist. So we're just going to go across the bottom of these mountains pretty fast and press the cap light as we're moving across. So just by pressing your cap light you can get like a mist effect. So I'm liking how that's looking. 
So now we've added the mist to the painting, I'm going to add some water to the bottom here. So I'm just going to put a line here, so it looks like a reflection of the moon in the water. So just do a line here. And then with a finger we're just going to move it back and forth. See what it's like. So I forgot to mention at the beginning, you can also have some clear coat. So I'm going to use some clear coat to wet this paint back up because it hasn't turned out the way I want it to turn out. So this just wets the paint up so it might be easier to move then. Ah, oh, the clear coat reacted to the um, the black on the canvas, which is a nice advantage. Yeah, so it's mixed it up a bit, so it's turned a bit of a grey colour. So what we can do is we can do a bit of a finer line, so we get a better reflection, because that didn't really work out the first time I did it. But it's like I said, it's trial and error with spray paint art. So we can get this piece of card, this spare piece of card, we pull this paint on. I'm just going to put a thin line. And see if this one works. Like I said, it might work, it might not. I'm just going to get some clear coat as well, help him move a bit better. So I'm going to leave that like that, I like it, I like the reflection in the water. So now we've done the water and the reflection of the moon in it. We're going to use this piece of card here, the spare piece of card. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on here and just produce a bit of mist here. A line. So I quite like how that's looking. It's not straight, but I like it. So now I'm going to go back to his spare piece of card. I'm just going to spray a bit more white on here. So now we've got a bit of white, some spare white on here. I'm going to get another piece of card. I'm just going to rip the end off again. What I think I might do is just put a bit of waves here and there in the water. A bit of white. So. We don't want much on here. So I'm just going to go on the edge here so you could. Just push it across a bit. Don't really want many on here. So I had a bit too much there on the piece of card. Try and spread it out like that. So it's just trial and error when you're painting. Some things might work, some won't. 
We won't know until you give it a try. Well, I think I'll do for that. So I think to finish it off at the bottom, I'm just going to put some bushes with this sponge here. It's a new sponge, so I'm not sure how the bushes are going to come out, what they're going to look like. But like I said, I'll give it a go and have a look. Might work, it might not. So we'll dab the sponge in the white paint. Dab it there to see what it's like, see if we've got enough paint on there. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a few bushes either side, I think. So just press lightly because of the white. So I quite like how that's looking. I'm going to go to this side. I think I might add a few here. So just dab it on lightly. Just put it a bit lighter there. I'll put a bit more up here so it looks so. Uh... I think I might put a bit more up this one as well, I think. I'll just get a bit more white paint on here. Like I say, it's your painting. It's up to you where you put in it. I might just bring that up a bit there like that. So it looks like it's coming down a bit. Just get a bit more white paint on here because the sponge has soaked it up. Do a bit of the bushes sticking up here. So I like how them bushes are looking, quite like it. It's a bit tricky just using one colour to get some depth in it. But I think they look alright. Quite liking how that's looking. So the last thing I'm going to do before the painting's finished is sign it. So I'm going to use a white pen to sign it. I'm just going to sign it here. So now I've signed the painting, the painting is finished. I'm really happy with the way this has turned out, considering I've just used one colour. I really like the moon and the texture on it. I like how the clouds are in the painting. I like how the mountains have turned out. The reflection of the moon in the water looks awesome. And I also like how the bushes have turned out. Even though I found it a bit challenging to do the bushes with just one colour, I still like the way they've turned out. So I really enjoyed painting this painting with just one colour. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if so don't forget to give it a like and please share the video. And let me know what your favourite part of the painting is in the comments. And also if you're a new visitor to my channel 
don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell notification so you know when I upload some new videos. And once again, thank you for stopping by and watching. I hope to see you all in the next spray paint art video. Have a great day, take care and bye for now.